Hello GED students, super excited for another problem because again, we're showing how just these really basic operations will show up in advanced levels. And this particular one does show up on the GED, not just college, so I'm super excited. Now, again, you, you, I'm expecting you to have already experience with algebra in order not to panic at this. If that's not you, turn this off. It's not time for you yet. We would tackle something like this after unit one. However, if you already have experience with algebra, we can totally tackle this product example. So it says find the simplified product of seven and x plus three. Now, a couple of things going on here. First of all, we have, uh, you know, the word product going on. Okay, so we are gonna write some kind of expression. Right now, I, I don't like this thing, find the simplified product of seven and x plus three, uh, because the, this is in words, and a lot of times you guys will miss what to do when it's written in words, whereas if you just translate it into the math symbols, you go, oh, I, I know how to do this. So that's what I wanna do first. I wanna translate it into symbols. So let's talk about what product means. Product means multiply, and I've been begging you since, uh, day one, which this is kind of day one. But anyway, I'm begging you, please, 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 please do not use times signs when multiplying. And because you're an advanced student today, you get to figure out why. Instead of using time signs in algebra, we use parentheses and there's a real reason why. A time sign can only multiply. But parentheses can do two things. They're powerful here. They can tell us to multiply, but they can also group. So when we have more complicated expressions that we want to multiply with, it is important to make sure that they're grouped together. And let's go ahead and read this so I can show you what I mean. This says find the simplified product of seven. Okay, that's just a number. But and x plus Three. This is not just a number now. This is this whole expression. But listen to the way this is phrased. I want you to find the product of 7 and x plus 3. I'm saying I want you to multiply 7 by all of this stuff. So what a lot of students might do is they might say, oh, I'm just going to do 7 times x plus 3. Or 7 times x plus 3, another way to write it. Or even 7 times x plus 3. But the problem with every single one of these is that by the order of operations, all I'm multiplying 7 here by is the x. Remember, multiplication comes before addition. So all of these say multiply 7 times x and then add 3. And that's not what this expression here says. Okay, so all of these are kind of nonsense. This says multiply 7 by all this junk. And that is why we need parentheses here. We want to take 7 and multiply by all this junk. Group that x plus 3 together. So 7 multiplies by the entire expression. And you might say, does it make a difference? Oh, yeah, it makes a difference. Let's check out the next part of this. We're going to see when we simplify, it gives us a different answer. Remember that multiplication passes out over a grouping. And so this 7 is not just multiplying by the x, it's also multiplying by the plus 3 or the positive 3. So what's 7 times x? 7x. And if I add 3 7 times, that's what it's saying. If I add 3 7 times, I'm going to add end up adding 21. Another way to think of that is 7 times positive 3 would give me a positive 21. And now I've done this part of the directions I've simplified. I've done all the math you can do. Now, I do have a lot of students who really, really, really are freaking out right now. They want to add for me so bad. They want to add the 7x and the 21. But remember, you can only add and subtract like terms. I can't add some number of x's with with a plain old 21. And so this is really what separates my A students from my B students in algebra. My A students know when to stop. This is as simple as my expression is going to get if nobody tells me what x is. So if x is unknown, I cannot make this any simpler. I'm going to stop right here. This is the simplified product of 7 and x plus 3.
All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.